Hey guys, how is it going? It's Mr. Mathematician over here. As you read the topic, today I'll show you and teach you three tricks to fool your friends easily using maths. So, I have a spectator over here. I'll ask him to select any number between 0 to 1000. Now, multiply the number by 2. Then whatever answer you get, add 36 to it. Add 36 to it. After that, divide the number by 2. Divide the answer by 2. Now subtract the number that you selected at the starting of the trick. Your answer should be 18. Is that right? So this trick does not require any mentalism or any math calculation. It's just a simple trick. First I'll explain it and then we'll see how to do it. So let's take the number selected by the spectator to be x. Then we multiply it by 2. Then I told you to add 36. Over here, the number that you tell them to add is an important number. That is 36 in this case. Then after that, I told to I told the spectator to divide it by 2. Okay, then I told the spectator to subtract the number that he selected at the start that was x over here now when we simplify this get 2x we'll get 2x plus 36 remains the same so it would be plus 36 now divided by 2 that is it the whole thing is divided by 2 that means we need to divide 2x and 36 both by 2 and then I told him to subtract x that was the number he selected at the beginning of the trick now when we divide 2x plus 36 by 2 we'll get x plus 18 that is half of 36 and we'll subtract x from it so x minus x plus x will get cancelled out and our answer would always be 18 that is because we selected 36 the answer would always be half of the number you tell them to add that is 1 by 2 of the number if you take instead of you take uh, instead of 36 you take 15 then your answer would always be 7.5 that's the rule for this trick and the number must be above 0 it could not be negative now if you want the answer to be 12 and you just need to add 36 you, know, you don't want to make changes then what you could do is you want the answer as 12 so what you could do is instead of cha changing 36 you can change 2 at both the places and multiplying it and dividing it and make it 3 so you'll get one third of the number so one third of 36 is 12 so it would be 3x plus 36 and 3 would get cancelled out and you'll get 36 upon 3 as the answer Instead of 2 at both the places, you will write 5. So the trick depends upon what numbers you take. If you take multiply by 5 plus 25 and also divide it by 5, then you will get the answer as 5. That means if you change this number and this number, then you don't need to change this one. Let's move on to trick number 2. Okay guys, trick number 2. I'll ask the spectator to select any number. It might be negative, it might be positive. Now, I want him to multiply, sorry, to square the number. To square the number. Guys, this is the sign of power. So, power 2. Yeah. After squaring the number, after squaring the number, he needs to multiply it by 2. Then, he needs to add, let's take 36 again. Now, uh, subtract the num, no, divide it by 2 first. 
Now subtract the square of the number that you selected at the beginning of the trick. Subtract the square of the number. Guys over here the square was 81 so we'll subtract 81 and the answer should be again 18. Now this is basically the same trick just the difference is that in this trick what happens is you can even take negative because squaring any negative number would always be positive. Uh, let's take again uh, the number they choose as x. So we have x as the number they select. Now it could be positive or it could be negative. So it could be plus x or minus x. It is not sure that it is plus x. In the other trick it was confirmed that it is a positive number. So we square the number. You know that on squaring any number you will get a positive number. Doesn't matter it's positive or negative. So x squared it would be minus x squared or plus x squared. It would always be plus x squared. The answer would always come plus x squared. So now I asked him to multiply it by 2. It's basically the same trick after that that you will add 36 to it then you will divide it by 2. Over here also it's the same. 36 is the main number you need to remember. If you change 2 and use 3 over that you will get answer as 12. It's the same as the other trick. The difference is that you need to square the number. Divide by 2. So these numbers should be same and the answer would be 36 by 2 because we made them add 36 to it. Now in the other trick they have subtract the number they selected. In this trick they need to subtract the number the square of the number they have selected. So what that does is that if you uh, many a times what happens is they Many people tell that you need to subtract the number that you selected. But that would just, the trick would be a total failure if you do that. So, and by the way guys, you need to remember this order. That in the other trick it was multiply by 2, then add something, then divide by 2, and then subtract the number they selected in the starting. In this, it is a little different. It is squaring the number, then multiplying by 2, then adding 36, then dividing by 2 and then subtracting x squared that is the square of the number they have selected so you don't need to do these calculations you just need to remember the order and you need to remember that the answer would be always half of the number you make them add if you are multiplying it by 2 and dividing by 2 if you are changing the numbers, if you take 3 at both the places, it would be different. Start with our last trick, trick number 3. In this trick, I will prove that 0 divided by 0 is equal to 2. It is actually mathematically, it's not correct, but I will still prove it anyhow breaking the laws of maths. This trick could, you could perform on any of your friends, you just need to show this method. So first I will solve the LHS, LHS that is 0 upon 0 over here. So LHS is you can also write LHS as 100 minus 100 upon 100 minus 100. That's the same as 0 upon 0 right? Because it's 100 subtract it from 100 that is 0. So it's true nothing is wrong until yet right? Now let's use some al algebra and exponents. So first we'll write this as 100 can be written as 10 square. So we'll write 10 square 10 square minus 10 square. So it's same as 100 minus 100 upon. Now we'll write this in a different way. We'll not write it as this one but in a different way. We'll write it as 10 into like 
10 into brackets 10 minus 10 that's also equal to 100 minus 100 you can check that using a calculator if you want now when we solve this that means now uh, as you know there's a law of algebra there's a identity of algebra that a square minus b square equals to a plus b into a minus b so i'll write it in the same way that is 10 10 minus 10 into that means into 10 plus 10 that's algebraic identity as all of you know now upon it was 10 into 10 minus 10 so we'll we'll leave it as it is so it would be 10 into 10 minus 10 now as everything is in multiplication we can cancel out the things that are easily getting cancelled out so 10 minus 10 on both at both the places would get cancelled out and we are remaining and the remaining thing is 10 plus 10 upon 10 that is 10 plus 10 upon 10 so to simplify this we'll first add them 10 plus 10 is 20 so over here our answer would be 20 by 10 now 20 divided by 10 is 2 0 0 gets cancelled out so it's 2 by 1 that is equal to 2 and our RHS was 2 therefore 0 divided by 0 0 upon 0 is equal to 2 this is not mathematically correct but actually in maths 0 divided by 0 if you do it would be an error because that's not uh, defined yet that's not defined yeah but over here I have somehow proved it as 0 upon 0 equals to 2 if you want to if you want to look at it closely and remember this please pause the video over here I hope you like the video guys thanks for watching